Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Sarah and this is a intricate ink animals in detail, a coloring book by Tim Jeffs, um, coloring book review and flip through. Um, I have also added something special at the end of this presentation here um, about the types of mediums you can use in this book. Um, so I have tried out a lot of different types of mediums that I have in the back of the book, and I'm going to show those to you and tell you what works best, what doesn't work, um, etc. So this is a book that is hardcover, which is a little unusual for coloring books. I, I really like the idea of a hard color, a hard cover coloring book. Um, it's not extremely hard cover. You can see that it, it bends um, very easily, so it's a pliable hard cover. Um, the dimensions of the book are 11 and a half by 9. So it's a little different than your regular eight and a half by 11. Inside the front cover, you have this lovely green color. Love green, it is my favorite color. And most of the pictures in this book are this direction. So, and they are all one-sided, um, which is very helpful, especially if you're using alcohol markers or anything like that. Um, so I will keep the book um, this direction for most of the presentation. So you have the information page here, and then this tells a little bit about the artist and how he's created the illustrations. And it kind of jumps right in here. Um, it tells you the page numbers for um, the entire book and what animal is on each page. There are a lot of duplicate animals in this book, which is okay because they're in different poses, they're in different positions, um, and if you mess up on one, that's great, because there's another one you can color and uh, it, it really kind of makes it nice that there are some duplicate animals in the book. Not duplicate images, but duplicate animals. These pictures are really nicely done and I really appreciate the artist uh, thinking about the one-sided pages. Um, the black background really creates an image that pops once you use color. These are really lovely images. I have really enjoyed looking through this book, um, seeing all the images that are here. The paper quality in this book is decent. Um, it's not the best. It's not poorly done. It was a wisely chosen paper. It's a heavy, um, not cardstock heavy, but a heavier copy paper. Um, I wish it would have been just a little more heavy. Um, that would have made coloring a bit easier. And all the pages seem to have somewhat of a matte finish, which makes it a little difficult for water-based products um, to kind of saturate the page. They will saturate. It does um, take a little bit of time to work that into the page because it seems to have some kind of finish on the page. So if you are a watercolor artist, please beware of that. These pages are not perforated. I love this one. This one is my favorite. Be sure to subscribe down below right there and leave me a comment below there and tell me which one of these is your favorite image, uh, which one you're looking forward to coloring or if you're getting this book or not. I always respond to comments um, as soon as I can and I always enjoy looking at it. It makes my day. The artist seems to have um, kind of a passion for reptiles, cold-blooded creatures. Um, there are a lot more of those than there are uh, mammals or sea life. And just the detail on these, I'm going to see if I can bring this a little closer so you can see. I mean, they've even got skin creases, skin pieces in there. I mean, it's, it's very intricate. So the title, Intricate Ink, 
is not lying when it says intricate here. This is a beautiful, beautiful coloring book. I'm so glad I got to purchase this. And I don't know if you can see this on here. I'm going to bring it closer. But even the hair has been... Um, see if I can get to focus there. There. Individual strands of hair. So this isn't just an outline of a creature that you can color and kind of make it design whatever you want inside those areas. It It is a fully intricately done animal on these pages. This is my second favorite. Love this one. Those eyes. And it, it does talk in detail about the artist's views on eyes in his animals. He said um, something to the effect of it kind of brings them to life. Uh, when he does the eyes, and he really tries to focus a lot on the eyes um, because of that reason. And I know on the camera here I'm looking at, I can see that it is picking up some of these details of the scales and stuff on the animals. This is just amazing. I mean, even down to the water kind of glistening off, off the fish's body here is, is really cool. The well's body, I mean, not the fish. So let me kind of flip through the rest of this a little bit more quickly so I can get to the back here. And I'm going to try and do these uh, reviews for mediums at the end of all of my uh, coloring book reviews from now on. I may even go back at some point and do the same with my other coloring books I already have posted up here kind of do like a, hey, this is my collection. This is the mediums you can use in my collection. In each one of these books kind of video. Um, that would be a, a kind of a longer video, but I think it would be worth your time to check out, especially if you have those coloring books and you haven't started coloring yet. I'm having a horrible time flipping these pages. I guess when you change the direction of the way you're flipping it, it kind of throws everything off. This is a long book. It is pretty thick, and I'll show you the thickness. I didn't do that at the beginning like I normally do. I forgot. So I'll show you the thickness and the back of the book and stuff like that here in a minute. This is up there with, with some of my favorite pictures in this book, too. I, I really like this one. And a sloth. Love me some sloths. I think they're one of the neatest creatures on Earth. They're just so weird and different. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in on this page a little bit. Whoa, too much. Okay, there we go. I guess I should have done that for the whole video, but I didn't. didn't think of it. So what I have done here is I have colored um, places on the picture um, with different mediums that I have. And I'm going to go through those really quick. 
First, um, I have the Recollection Collection from Michaels. Um, these are water-based mediums. Um, you can use a uh, watercolor, or I'm sorry, water to spread them out once you put them on. And this one is the Recollection Purple right there. And it, it is really good. Um, I like this one on this page. Next, I've got a very simple, simply art. Um, I think I got this from Joanne Fabrics um, pastel set, um, chalk pastel, um, with some a variety of colors in it. This is really cheap set. I think it was like four ninety seven or something like that. So it's not the best kind of uh, pastel that, that there is. Um, but I wanted to kind of try that on here. I use pastels a lot for backgrounds, so I wanted to see how that would work, and I did that right here. Um, and you can see that it kind of, um, it's a little bit opaque, so it, it kind of fades the, the black in the, in the ink drawing. And I'm not fond of mediums that do that. Uh, Prismacolor, I love their colors, however, they're very opaque. And I feel like Prismacolor really takes away from the drawing itself when, um, you're putting it down. Uh, for example, this is the Prismacolor colored pencil. I mean, you can see the difference on here between where I've colored and the black um, here. And I, I don't know. I, I love the colored pencils from Prismacolor, but I have a hard time using them. In contrast, um, Spectrum Noir colored pencils here um, did a fantastic job. They went on very, very smooth, and I'm not a big fan of Spectrum Noir colored pencils. However, because they are not opaque, I, I do enjoy using them on occasion. For this book, I will probably use them a lot. They're a higher quality colored pencil. They have more pigment. They go on very smooth in this book. Um, whatever finish is on these pages, Spectrum Noir colored pencils work really well with. This one is Crayola colored pencils. Um, it went on very well as well, and I didn't have any problems with that. Um, so it, it was, it went on very well too. Next, I've got the Faber-Castell uh, Gelatos. I used this blue when I used it over the eye here. Um, as you can see, it is a little bit opaque, not overly, um, just a little bit. Um, so that one is the Gelatos, this blue right here. It did very well. For the, for the water-based mediums. Next, um, I use some alcohol markers. And I have a lot of the Spectrum Noir products, and this is no different. I use the Spectrum Noir... Um, I use three different tones to see how well they blended. I used a very light orange color, uh, maybe a, a darker yellow, an orange, and a red. And these are all from the Spectrum Noir line, the alcohol markers, Spectrum Noir line. Um, and I use those right here. And you can see that they went on very well. Um, absolutely no problems there. They went on well. They were not opaque. They, they blended fantastic. So alcohol markers will work really good in this book. However, um, please either tear your page out, put cardstock behind, um, something like that because... Um, the alcohol markers went through and I will tell you the other ones that went through here in a minute and the alcohol markers actually went to the next page behind as well um, let's see here I'm zoom in just a bit next I've got the fine liners uh, the Statler fine liners I used the orange I tried to stay with orange for a lot of these um, just because of the animal that it is and the fine liners I used up here absolutely no problems um, bleed through or nothing, they did fantastic. So fine liners will work really well in this book. Next, I have uh, the Jelly Roll gel pens. I used a purple. Um, and they are these right here. They did fantastic. I think gel pens did do a great job with most things. Um, I've noticed a lot of people are doing Sharpies on some of their coloring, which is fine. I, I love Sharpies. Um, so I use black Sharpie. And I used it right here, and that also went through on the back. Um, just a little bit there. Right there. So just be aware of that. Next, I have got the 
Prismacolor Premier Watercolor colored pencil set. And I used those. You see where I use those? Right here. And they did a great job. I colored them on the page first. I didn't wet my brush and, and smear it around like that. I did color directly on the page and used a um, aqua brush um, to kind of spread that around. It did fantastic. The lay down is great. I love them on this paper. I also did the Spectrum Noir Aqua water-based markers. These I did on his nose, and this was the other one that, that went through a little bit. Um, not overly, however, I did have to really saturate the paper to get it to blend out. Um, but it did a good job, and this is actually one of the first pieces of paper in a coloring book that I have found that the aqua markers from Spectrum Noir will actually spread around on. Usually, they just, they don't smear out at all. Um, I have a lot of problems with that, and that might have something to do with the finish on the page. Um, the one thing I did notice with these is because of how much water I had to use, um, it did kind of um, give that sandpapery feel to the paper now over his, his nose where I used it. Um, so it, it will kind of ruin your paper. Um, however, it's still a viable option. And see which ones I've missed. See, I have used the Karen Dosh Neo Color 2 set in orange. These are, again, a water soluble pastel. And I used those right here. They did Supreme. Uh, that, um, the, the Neo Color 2 and the Spectrum Noir colored pencils are the ones I would recommend for this book. Um, so that is that, and I think that is all of the ones that I tried. Um, oh no, there, there's one more. Um, I did try regular watercolor. Um, I did the uh, Koi watercolors, just a simple cheap set, um, and I did those right here, and those worked fantastic as well. Um, so things I would recommend for this book, the, the mediums that I have, that I have tried, are the Neo Color 2, um, Karen Dosh, Water Soluble Pastel, the Spectrum Noir Colored Pencils, uh, Prismacolor Watercolor Pencils. Um, if you're going to use watercolor, uh, use water sparingly. That does work really well. I like the Koi based products because they are opaque, or they're not opaque, and um, you can see through. And I've mentioned that before how, how I like to see the ink left on the page. Um, if you do have fine liners, they work great. Those again are up here, and gel pens work great as well. Um, things I would not recommend I would not recommend alcohol based markers unless you are cutting your page out or you're putting cardstock behind as a blotter page. Um, if you're doing that, then by all means, alcohol-based markers are up there on my choices to use. Um, this is the, the alcohol-based ones. Um, things I would absolutely not recommend for any reason is uh, water-based markers because of the amount of water that it takes to, to kind of smear them out, and that will ruin your paper in this book. Um, that is the only one I would absolutely not recommend for this book. Everything else did okay, and again, my number one recommendations for this book are the Spectrum Noir colored pencil, the Prismacolor watercolor pencil, and the Karen Dosh Neo Color 2 water soluble pastel. So, let me show you, since I forgot to do it, we've got the spine of the book the thickness of the book, which is a fairly thick book. There's a lot of pages in here. Here's the front again. And here is the back. Um, fantastically done pictures on front and back. Again, the dimensions of this book are 11 and a half by 9 inches. And I think I've covered everything. So thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a lot of fun. Please don't forget to subscribe down here and leave me a comment below telling me what you liked about the video. If you like me adding 
the mediums afterwards, if that's something that you're interested in or not. And let me know uh, what picture you found most interesting or the picture that you like the best. Just, just kind of drop me a line and, and say hey. Um, so anyway, until next time, happy coloring and thank you for stopping by.